All right, welcome to part two of laying out your book's text in OpenOffice.org. Uh, we're going to use the OpenOffice file that we set up in part one, and now we're going to actually import the text so you can see what it's going to look like. So for the example, I've, I grabbed a copy of text of an old Mark Twain short story. And you can see here I've removed all of the tabs and all of the extra line spaces, and that's just so that OpenOffice can manage all of those spacing so that it makes it much easier to change things if we have to. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, select everything and then copy and paste it into the OpenOffice file that we built earlier. There's the OpenOffice file and paste or you come up to the edit menu or control V whatever you whatever suits your fancy. So now what we're going to do is open back up the styles and formatting, go back to the page styles tab, and double click on blank. You can see there it's moved everything to be that narrower page, the six by nine page that we'll be using that, that you need to upload it to uh, wherever you want to upload it. Now we need to change the title, so go ahead and select the title, hit more, and then we need to make sure that we can select the title style, so I select all styles down there, and scroll on down, there it is, double click the title style, you can see how it pushes it down the page, makes it the right font size and everything. If you hit enter, it's automatically set up to go to the subtitle style. And that's where you could put your byline. Now we'll go ahead and insert a manual break, page break. We don't need to change the style or anything. Now we're going to use the copyright style that we built in part one and enter in the copyright information now I I'm certain there's a hotkey to insert a copyright symbol but I don't know it there you have it and I have no idea what year he was alive but you'd put your name and you could put you hit shift enter to move it down just part of a line otherwise it's gonna jump down that same big huge block again. Uh, you put the city, your ISBN number, your website, whatever oops, whatever information you think would be good to have on a copyright page. Go ahead and, and just you know open up any old novel that you have lying on a shelf and see what they put on there and put the same information. Go ahead and insert another manual break. This time we're going to change styles to basic. We're going to change the page, page number to one. And that will start uh, your book on page one. Say okay. Still on the copyright style, which we do not want. We would prefer it to be heading one at the beginning of a chapter. And so you can see it still pushes down the text underneath it. In chapter one, uh, originally the story is just a Roman numeral I, you know, Roman numeral one, just an I. But because I want to show you something here in a minute, I'm going to change it so it just says chapter one. Okay. Now we have a whole bunch of text down below that's in the default style. If at any time things get too hairy with the styles you can select whatever text you want and click clear formatting at the top and that takes away everything and then choose whatever you'd like uh, because this is the first paragraph of a chapter I'm going to go ahead and find that first paragraph the text body first style that we set up
and then the other uh, the other paragraphs are going to go ahead and select down until I can find number two that is if my computer doesn't spaz which it kind of is here whoops and then it jumped okay then we'll go ahead and select text body there we go and you scroll up here see that everything is nicely spaced out just like it should be however our headers and footers still don't have anything useful in them so for the right hand headers let's go ahead and insert now let's go ahead and make it that it doesn't even show up there either the header right we set it before and then we're going to insert a field and that will be the oh bother chapter I'll take the chapter name and it'll take this the, whatever the header one tag is in there and stick it up there so that as you go through the chapter any page that's on the right hand side is going to say chapter one over there on the left hand side we'll put the author name and people do this differently depending on the publisher's wants you can set it up to do whatever you want you can put the book's name on the left hand side and your uh, the author name on the right hand side you can whatever you'd like to do you can make them centered again is one thing that many people often do okay for the footer and you can choose any old page because it repeats the header and the footer as it's supposed to everywhere so we'll go ahead and insert on the left hand page a page number and then we'll find a right hand page and I'll go ahead and click a line right and we'll insert the page number there there now you will be getting page numbers as you go okay so now it would be time for me to skip down to the bottom of the chapter assuming I can find it find the last paragraph and go ahead and insert another page break don't change the style or anything say okay and you would start over you would click the heading one and do the same thing until the end. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording for just a moment and fix the rest of this because it'll be kind of boring for you to watch. Okay, now I've got my whole file just formatted in those styles. And the cool thing about using those styles is if you ever want to change anything, you don't have to go through, reselect all the text, and then uh, change it by hand that way. You can say if I want the chapter titles to be bigger you can just open up the styles and formatting, find the appropriate style and then modify it. So if I wanted the the chapter the chapter heading font to be a little bit bigger I'd choose 20 point and voila. Can't tell much of a difference but it's gone through and it has made all of the chapter headings bigger. If I can find another one to prove it to you. There we are. See? It's still 20. And that's much easier than going through and then changing it all right here or right here. It's much easier just to change the style and then it goes through and updates everything of that same style. Okay, so now we have our whole file formatted and it's time for part three.